Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to get past the Sky Islands in Tears of the Kingdom. So let's get into it. First you want to follow the path, which will lead you to this guy. That guy will give you the Pura Pad, and then you will want to head to the Temple of Time. At the Temple of Time, go and try to open the door, and then Raru will tell you to go to the shrine. So then, go to the first shrine that he shows you. At that shrine, that will give you the ability of Ultra Hand. Now with Ultra Hand, you'll want to make a bridge-like structure to get across this part of the shrine, or just make something like I did. After that, you'll find a pile of random stuff, and with that random stuff, you'll want to make something like this so then you can slide across the rail. And now, you have finished your first shrine. After that, you'll want to go right in front of the shrine where this pile of stuff is. And you can always pause the video so you can look at the map if you don't know where I am. Now, with the pile of stuff, you'll want to make another one of these things to slide across the rail to get to the other side. After getting to the other side, you want to use Ultra Hand to combine two logs together to get past the bridge. Now, you're going to want to make a sailboat with Ultra Hand like this. And as said before, you can go pause the video to see where I am. Now you can go to the next shrine. That shrine will give you the ability of fuse. With that ability, you'll want to fuse a boulder to your weapon so you can take down the pillars. Now after taking down the pillars, you'll want to head to the right and get some fire fruits to attach to your arrow. And then you'll want to shoot some of the leaves to get the chest down. After that chest is down, it will give you a key, allowing you to uh, be able to open the locked door. Now you want to take down this construct and use your boulder and fuse weapon to take down the pillars. Now you can finish the shrine. After finishing the shrine, you will want to progress along the path which will lead you into a cave. At the end of the cave, you will find some builder constructs. Now what you will want to do is head to the right and make a boat like this to get across. Now head along that path until you find the next cave. At that cave, there will be some spicy peppers. Go and get those and then throw them into a pot which will give you spicy sauteed peppers. Go eat that and it will give you cold resistance. Now head around the cliff. You can always just look at the map if you don't know where I am. And go to the waterfall. And to the right of the waterfall, you will be able to climb up. Now you are at the next shrine. The next shrine will give you the ability of ascend. Now you want to use ascend on the first part of the shrine. And then you want to use ascend again on the right pillar. At the top, you want to shoot an arrow at the string allowing the, this platform to drop. So you can use ascend on it. Now use ascend two more times on the moving platform and then the next platform. You are now finished with that shrine. Afterward, head back to the Temple of Time, and that will give you the recall ability. Now use recall on this moving gear on the right, and then use recall on this gear in the middle to go to the door. After that, you want to teleport back to the Room of Awakening, and then use recall on this gear and on the next gear as well. Now you can make your way to the last shrine. To finish the last shrine, what you want to do is use recall on the two boats and stand on them. After that, use Ultra Hand to stick these two things together so you can finish this shrine. Now go back to the temple time, talk to the statue of Hylia, and get a heart. Now open the door, and then all you have to do is use Ascend a couple more times, and now you're done! Thanks for watching, and make sure to get your first 500 ticket. If you subscribe before 500 subscribers, it just shows that you are truly an OG. See ya!